How do you go clockwise? How do you age the girls? They're five years older. I mean, is it more than a haircut and an outfit? No, it's their history. We, we have to discuss as a letters of where they've been. And because the idea always was to reiterate, or echo back to a moment with the pilot, in the books where the girls are separated for a bit. Aria went to Iceland yeah. with her family. So they have not been together. So the return, the reunion, actually has some... It's, it's charged with a lot of anticipation right. and some anxiety because they've tried to forget some of the trauma of high, of high school and when they see each other, what do you think of immediately? Yeah. Trauma. We have more trauma than Yes. But like physically. You know, it's, it's interesting. Like one of the spots, it's, it's one of the ways in which the, the, the girls are such great actors yeah. is that they walk on the set when we, the first episode when we made a jump and they were so ready to... Play okay. a different version of themselves. Yeah. They've been thinking right. about this. They wanted to own it. Great. Yeah. And as I say, it's like literally from the moment that they walked on the set, they were there. They were ready to be. It's the, the thing about this way, it's an actor who's basically spent five and a half years developing their character backstory. Mm -hmm. Right. And we also didn't have the benefit, interestingly enough, that very often you would start a new season with a hiatus in between, which would give them time to be thinking. And we really went straight from. It was a, one day was one the day prom, was, it was the prom and the finale and then actually it was five days later, five day. years later five years later much to the chagrin of the production of the production staff True. and the art directors truly it was, it was it, we had to make a big leap literally and you know staff wise you know the whole everybody in the writers we had to click their mind into we're five years ahead now. and meanwhile we were taking down sets and putting sets up and trying to remember where they were and you know I showed the prom picture I had a picture of the four girls in their prom dresses and I showed it I went to a school event for my son, and one of his classmates, you know, was enamored with the show. And I said, oh, I, we just did the prom episode. She goes, are there pictures? And I said, well, I have one of the dresses I can probably show you, where they're posing. And she said, literally, quote, no one looked like that in our prom. <laughs> and I thought, you know, that's why we're jumping five years, because they're going to own this now, and if we make it 50 years, it'll be Valley of the Jollies. we got to do this, so it's just five years ahead. And 22, 23 years old is a pretty interesting age. But you still want to go back to 1967 for one episode, I don't know that. I really do. I want to do Battle of the Dallas for one. I'm going to do one Battle of the Dallas episode. Before, I, before this show's over, we're going to have one. Audience will have no idea, but it's okay. Their parents <laughs> or grandparents will wander into the room and say, What are you watching? What is that? What is that? Very cool. So, uh,. Now, the parents were a big part in the high school portion of the show. Are they going to still play a part five yes. years later? Yes. Yeah. It's a different kind of relationship because now they're a little bit... They're there, but they think they're trying to survive this. And uh, there's some... And the parents themselves have got some repairs to make in their relationships with the, with the girls and with, and with each other. And you'll see some new developments with the parents. It's really nice in season 6B, five years later. There's been some new developments in relationships some of us that I can't say any more than that. Just stay tuned. I'd be amazed what we can't say. But yes. Is there going to be a third A? A third A? That would be the triple A. <laughs> when she comes to fix Hannah's car. Yeah. To charge her car. not threatening anymore. They just basically come and give you a battery. That would be the triple A. Um, there will be somebody who doesn't want to make these girls' lives very... Uh, someone to... Uh, Antagonize and intimidate and force them to deal with truths. Yeah. Let's put it that way. There has, there has to be a threat, so we're going to find a new threat. We're not changing the DNA of the show, that's what you're asking. These girls, there's something in Rosewood that's still a miss, and these girls have to deal with it. But the thing is, what we like about this, one of the things we like about this basically is we actually now can invite a brand new audience to the show. They can start enjoying the show from this point on, and then if they want to go back and watch everything that's come before, they can. One of the things we've been stressing is if you haven't watched the show, you can start watching the show. Yeah, the mythology now, hopefully, we're starting fresh with the five year jump, so it isn't so labyrinth that people have to go. I'm sorry, I don't know what. Yeah. You just know these girls were beleaguered and traumatized in high school. But of course, if you missed the first episode, you're just as screwed up as you would be if you missed five years. But that one you can watch. That's not binge. That's, that's, not binge. that's 42 minutes, or what is it, 36 minutes? Last minute. 20 minutes. They keep getting shorter. What do you think Charlotte's role is going to impact this season? 
that's one of the areas where we actually have the stock answer of you have to watch. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thank you. I miss both of you. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. What, are, what are fans going to be most excited about this season? I think I think relationships. I think you know one of the things the network said to us we were excited about was they said you know not that we ever want to lose the mystery of the show and the element because it's in the, it is the DNA of the show. But we were because of 22, 23, and now under their parent supervision, and they've had some other relationships and some other experiences since they left Rosewood. We can focus on more adult relationships the girls can have with each other and with guys. And I can't tell you which guy is here. <laughs> Thank, you it really, Thank you very much. It really ages well. Yvonne no. said no. What? It really ages well with Freeform, their yes, demographic. Yes, so it's yeah. perfect. That's sort of the idea.